Well, as violence ravages the Central African Republic, three gentlemen of different faith whom you've been watching and listening to on our program today have been working tirelessly for peace in order to hold their country together. They are religious leaders who say they are actually doing what their faith has called them to do. The Interfaith Peace Platform is, is spreading a message in villages throughout their nation as they advise political leaders on a vision of peace. Is it working? Well, this is the million dollar question that brings us to our question of the week, asking, to what extent do you think that an interfaith perspective is an effective peace building tool in the Central African Republic's conflict? Well, thanks everyone for using all our social media platform to tell us what you think. Let's begin with a comment from Frank Mulenga in Lusaka, Zambia, who writes, both Christians and Muslims have a role to play to keep peace in the CAR, for there are many African countries where Christians and Muslims live in peace. Another comment comes from Bob Akampurira in Kampala, Uganda, who says, religious leaders and their followers make choices as to the meaning of the sacred and the content of their faith. These choices in turn determine their attitudes toward conflict and violence, which in turn will bring peace in the region. So I think if we are to have peace in the Central African Republic, religious leaders should join the cause through preaching reconciliation and harmony. Well, which is exactly what these three gentlemen are trying to do, Shaka and guest. What about you, Reverend? How do you react to that? La reconciliation, le pardon, reconciliation, forgiveness, this is what we are preaching because we think that it is true. Something divided us, but we lived it in our blood, in our flesh, but beyond that we have to understand that as long as there is life, we are condemned to live together, just like uh, teeth and the tongue are condemned to live together in the mouth. And as religious leaders, we are saying that we have a message of hope to uh, preach. We preach faith, we preach hope, and we are saying that whatever you can believe of this crisis in the CAR, whatever you believe, peace will come back. Calm will come back. Reconciliation between the citizens will come back. As long as we religious uh, authorities will remain faithful to the ideal that God gave us, that is to say, to live together. And finally, let's look at another one from Michael Amaze from Benin City in Edo, Nigeria this time, who writes, from the looks of things in Africa, it seems that religion has not helped matters. If you view it from the comment of some religious leaders, it has not been comfortable. So interfaith will not help matters, but economic development could let our political leaders do the right thing by engaging the youth. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. If the youth who are important stakeholders in, the nation, in nation building are engaged constructively, there could be peace in Africa. Well, Shaka and guests, I believe the viewer is not really dismissing uh, your work in helping find peace uh, in the Central African Republic, but he's tossing out some ideas on other ways to address the current problem. So what do you make of it? Archbishop, uh, it is all yours. How do you react? I would like to thank all of those who reacted to what we have been saying or to what we are living through in the CAR. I'm also saying to young people who are listening to us that uh, youth in the Central African Republic is a key 